Okay. <laughs> Today we're making cabinets that transform into a wall. Kinda. Yeah, it's like a convertible tool wall. So I made these two cabinets using different approaches. This one I made with pocket holes. Um, and you can actually see, I'll show you later. There's pocket holes everywhere that I had to fill. It was a real pain in the butt. I don't recommend that. That one I made with dominoes. Um, not the pizza, but the, uh, the Festool domino. Okay. People will know I'm a dad. This one I made using a Festool domino. And uh, it was a lot easier, honestly, and it came together really well. I learned a little bit about using, okay, I learned a lot about using a domino when I made that. Let's get started. Okay, so I cut all the plywood. I didn't really shoot that much of it, honestly. So if you feel like you've been like left out because there hasn't been enough plywood cutting in this, just like go watch some other videos where they cut a bunch of plywood real quick and then come back. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's too rude. <laughs> yeah, baby. figuring out how to balance everything. <sighs> okay, I need a bigger workbench. Clamp the doors on for some reason. I'm not saying it up. I'm gonna put the hinges on. I've never used one of these before. I think I set it up right. I read the instructions. Uh, I always just use a Dremel for this before. So now I have this big ass thing. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that seems scary. Huh. That worked pretty good. Not gonna lie. I didn't have piano hinges that were sufficiently long for this big giant thing, and I didn't want to special order them because it's expensive and not necessary. So I just bought a 48 inch length here and then I think this is a 36, which I then cut. So now uh, I have a piano hinge that runs the full length and that will be perfect. Yeah, it just goes on like that for a long time with all the screws. I'm not gonna bother. Well, I got it. Made, I got the doors on, the hinges on both sides. I don't know, maybe I should've just used strap hinges, but I thought piano hinges would be cool. And these doors are meant to hold a lot of weight uh, because they're gonna have tools and stuff in them. I left a gap.
between the doors. I don't remember why. <laughs> it was in the plans. And it came out the way it was supposed to. I don't know why I did that. I've got to show you. See that big ass gap? Look at the size of that thing. It's like a quarter inch. It's not suitable. Did that ever happen to you? I didn't mess it up. I don't think I messed it up. I'm pretty sure, like I checked the plans. I built that into the, uh, I don't know. Oh. Holy moly. That's a really big thing. Look at this. Look how much it, look at that. I'm gonna be able to store so much shit in there. Every mistake is a design opportunity in disguise. Uh, to fix this one, I had that big space. I got this, um, this aluminum angle iron, which I just built some holes in and then attached along here, which makes a nice protective edge. And also, looks pretty cool. So, that's the first cabinet made. Um, as you see, I've already got a bunch of stuff inside of it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I made this one, as you saw, using pocket holes, and they're all over the place here. And to make it look nicer, I had to fill them all, and then eventually I'm gonna have to paint this thing, and yeah, I think the lesson there is don't use pocket holes on stuff where you're gonna see them, because they're ugly. Um, use them on cabinets and stuff where they're gonna be hidden inside, which is what I should have done, and what I did on my other cabinet. Hmm. On the next one, I'm gonna try using the domino. So, we're gonna label, and we're gonna figure out how they fit together. And, uh, and then we're gonna put dominoes in them, I guess. Inside. Right, just uh, give me a second to think about how to do this. Moment of truth time. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. So, now I know. That's how you do that. Okay, so the whole thing is really super out of square. So I'm only pulling on the bottom, and it's just a big friggin' mess. See, I mean, it's not even. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these panels on and use them to square it up a little bit. I just have to move very fast because the glue is drying very fast. Wow, what a pain. Uh, I was saving, as I said, I was saving material by using a bunch of smaller panels. It just like was extra cuts and stuff. I don't want to use a whole other sheet to make this. But uh, it turned out to be really, actually pretty good. Pretty, like it let, it let me square it up little by little. So that worked out great. <laughs> oh, I'm so childish. So I put the door on this guy. I did not film that part. Um, it was very simple. I, I just cut a piece of wood to be the door. And then for this one, I didn't use piano hinges. I just used some regular just butt hinges. So I'm pretty happy with how they came out. I think they look pretty good, and especially for shop furniture. I probably will paint them eventually just to make them look a little nicer. Um, if you're interested in watching me develop my shop, you know, from basically having no furniture and like a few tools, well, well more than a few, but it's some, you know, no, no furniture and some tools and really nothing set up. Um, I'm kind of going from literally nothing to build up like a workshop. Um, you can click below or look in my playlist or whatever. There should be a video on how to make a pretty cool rolling um, 
work table, which is quite robust. I made it out of half inch plywood and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm just looking at it over there. It's, it's pretty sexy. And there's also a video on a stool, shop stool that I made. And um, there's probably other videos that you might enjoy. So go look at those and uh, you know, do all the things, liking and subscribing and you know, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Good night.